Hey, what's up guys, TJ here. I'm out riding at Breckenridge today. It's a really, really warm day. It's about 50 degrees right now, so the snows kind of went from icy to slushy, but it's been a pretty solid day for a board test, especially for the board that I'm on, which is the Burton Process Off Axis. The process is a freestyle killer, guys. It's a true twin snowboard with a twin flex and a camber dominant profile. It actually runs Burton's pure pop camber, so it's full camber for most of the length of the snowboard, going into just a little bit of flat and then a little bit of early rise rocker in the tip. You're gonna find pretty much all of Burton's high-end tech in this snowboard. It does run a centered base, which is feeling really, really good out here. A centered base is gonna be harder, faster, and more durable. But the biggest difference between the process and the process off axis is the squeeze box technology. So squeeze box, Burton basically makes the core of the board thicker and thinner throughout different parts of the snowboard to give it the flex that they want. And the way that the squeeze box tech differs from the off axis squeeze box is that at the end of the core before it gets really thin in the tips, uh, that thick part is offset by 15 degrees. So you do have a designated toe edge and a designated heel edge. They did that to accommodate a park rider stance. If you're out there riding park most of the time, you're probably riding a twin duck stance. So for me personally, I actually ride 15 degrees in the front, negative 15 in the back. So it lines up exactly with that squeeze box. And I'll also say that the regular process is a little bit softer than the process Kilroy. So definitely not as aggressive, feeling a little bit more buttery and pressable out here. I'd actually rate the flex right around a four out of 10. This board is definitely most at home in the park. I did have some fun cruising the groomers, dipping through some trees and things like that, but when you really start to push it, those tips just don't have the stability that you want for those high speed carbs or those higher impact scenarios. The tips are gonna flex out on you, so it's a little bit of a trade off. It makes it way more fun for doing presses on rails, doing butters, and just having that playful feel all around, being able to really load up the board, get some nice pop for ollies and all that type of stuff, but you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of stability as well. And as far as park riding goes, I would definitely say this is a bit more of a jib leaning snowboard. Not to say you shouldn't hit jumps on it. I've had a lot of fun on the jumps out here at Breck today, but you know, the biggest jump I'm hitting is maybe like 25 feet. On rails though, this board feels so good. It's feeling really, really slick straight away from the first lap, just super, super smooth on rails, really pressable easy to lock into features. I think this board offers a pretty good compromise for something that does excel at rails and really allows you to do whatever you want, but it isn't super soft. You can still have fun outside of the park and you can still jump around on it. It's a, it's a pretty solid all around freestyle snowboard. looking for a solid freestyle snowboard that's going to allow you to do pretty much anything that you want, check out the Burton process.